हेलो व्यूवर्स वेलकम टू येट अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ द सीरीज और किस स्पीशीज यू कैन ईजिली ग्रो एट होम टूडे आई हैव द और किस स्पीशीज वेंडा टेस्टा सिया एज यू कैन सी दिस इज़ अ वेरी स्मॉल साइज ऑर्किड इट ग्रोज इन वाम टू हॉट क्लाइमेट इट इज़ वेरी हॉट टॉलरेंट ऑर्किड इट कैन ईजिली tolerate direct sunlight though it is preferable to grow them in semi shaded location summer is the growing season for this orchids uh during this time water them sufficiently the orchid is a small sized orchid which will not take up much space in your shade house or your uh inside the house it grows about one or two leaves per year so it is not uh, going to take up much space within few months or um, one year you can grow them in baskets bare rooted or you can put some sphagnum moss to ensure moisture and humidity during very hot days uh, maintaining moisture around the roots is very essential uh, for the roots to grow healthy and uh, for the blooms to uh, have color and uh, the required uh, number of uh, more number of blooms in one spike normally this orchids grow multiple spikes every year the one was, uh, you see on the screen uh, grew two spikes last year and this year she has uh, grown three spikes uh, one spike has bloomed the other two are uh, still yet to bloom the blooms are very small in size uh, somewhat pale yellowish in color with a uh, brush stroke uh, lip of magenta and uh, purple as you can see one central spike appears on which uh, number of multiple number of uh, stems occur on which the blooms grow the blooms do not have any fragrance as uh, i have experienced uh, some of you might uh, detect some fragrance uh, the blooms are not very long lasting and fades away within about 2 to 3 weeks if you ensure moisture the number of blooms this year is about uh, 20 per spike it can grow more as the orchid ages and the number of spikes also will uh, be more uh, as the orchid grows older this is a uh, quite uh, hassle free orchid uh, you can grow them uh, mounted on trees or as in baskets as i have shown you before uh, mounted orchids uh, are very hassle free in terms of watering and uh, sunlight and uh, since this is a species it doesn't require any fertilizer and uh, which is uh, quite a uh, headache free task one of them uh, i had uh, no idea on bo uh, both of them i uh, expected it to be a somewhat uh, some other orchid i had ordered but it turned out to be the vanda testacea but uh, yeah i am not complaining they look very nice in clusters and uh, as the number of years will pass uh, more number of spikes will uh, appear and it will be a very bushy orchid Uh, some of you might find the flowers not very attractive um, uh, in terms of color uh, but yes when they grow in clusters they look very nice and uh, they grow pendulously uh, if you grow them mounted on uh, trees um, since i have grown them in baskets they are upright the spikes are upright as you can see but still they look very nice you can easily find them in online nurseries and uh, you may get them uh from your or other orchid enthusiast as well mm. i collected it from a local nursery at a very cheap price uh, it cost me around uh, say 250 rupees or something like that uh, not a very costly one and uh, the blooms are uh, not very fragrant as i have told you before but yes they can be grown they are a species and we uh can preserve this uh, testacea uh, maybe who knows you may not find it uh, in near future that's it for the vanda testacea hope you like my video please give it a like and do subscribe to my channel thank you